Welcome back to episode two of Making a Coon Hound. Corey Davis, Zach Conkey, and Kelsey Davis. Thank y'all for watching the last episode and hope y'all like this one. Let's hit the woods. Let's go. All right, before we get going, I want to talk to y'all about hunt times or feed times. Um, it's not the gospel. It's not that coons are going to move or animals are going to move by this clock, but it's a good uh, time frames to go by. And if you hunt during them times, a lot of times you will get a little bit more movement. You do have uh, two minors every day and you have two majors every day. So your minors are one hour a piece. Your majors are two hours a piece. Right now we are in a minor feed time, 8.30 to 9.30. And we're gonna try and get after them and, and tree a couple coons. All right, we are pulling up to the handy way. Uh, Kelsey's gotta get some coffee, keep her awake. I already got a Red Bull, so we are ready to go. She's gonna run in, get something and drink. And we're gonna hit the woods. All right, we were heading to a spot in the club uh, to turn out and the dogs actually just rigged one. Um, the box that I have is set up for dogs to be able to rig a little bit easier. Um, you've probably seen that in the, in the video before, but um, you can tell the difference between a dog just regularly barking and then actually rigging, which you can hear now. But we're gonna get out. Um, we are gonna turn out Charlie by herself, see if she can trail it and treat it. Should be pretty hot, should, should be able to treat it. So uh, we're gonna get after it. The dogs rigged one out the truck. We turned them out, turned out Jenny and Charlie. And she's trailing it now. Hopefully they can get it tree. Uh, we turned out Charlie and Jenny. Main reason why we did we wanted to separate river, uh, just see if this dog can work it by itself and tree it. Um, Jenny's a younger dog, so just having her out and, and getting after it would be good too. But uh, we'll see what they can do here in a second. Hopefully they can tree it. All right, so we actually had Jenny trailing a little bit here with Charlie, and she opened up twice. That was her right there. There's Charlie. Charlie's a, a little louder squealing dog. Really easy to call in a, in a competition if you're a hunting her. And there goes Jenny again. She's trailing it again. So this is really good, really, really good. All right, so this is a coon that they rigged out the truck. You can see where river is. That's where the truck is. We passed the track a little bit. They come back here and took it off the road. And you um, can't really see it on the screen, but there's a cypress pond in there. Um, they'll probably tree in that in that pond, but Jenny and Charlie are both, both trailing on this one. So hopefully they can get treed here. This would be really good training for Jenny. Um, I'm pretty positive Charlie can tree this one. Uh, but I'm more excited about Jenny being able to tree this with Charlie. Uh, we'll see what happens. All right, we got Jenny and Charlie out there on the coon that we rigged. Uh, we're actually going to call a river up. We're going to take him and cut him separate while they're working that track out. Just give us a little bit more time to work both these dogs at the same time. We're going to drive out of here in distance at least. Um, 
turn river out he is stoked he's he's been he's ready so to go he wants me to turn him out with them but we ain't gonna do it he's gonna have to tree his own tonight so come on down this little dead end trail uh, we're about a mile from charlie and jenny uh, we just want him to get on his own coon tree his own coon tonight i'm trying to build some independence between these two dogs mainly river and charlie i think charlie and them might be treed we're gonna get over here and check them out and um see if they got a coon they're real close to the road so that'll be nice the dogs kind of come in this pond and uh, we thought they were treed, but they kind of checked it and I think they figured out it wasn't there. Um, so they have left. So we'll see what happens next. Maybe they'll find it. All right, so dogs were kind of treed by this pond. They're kind of checking around. Um, I got the Taipan 19 out to check and see if there was a coon sitting up in there and I actually spotted the coon. So we're gonna go in there uh, which Charlie might have just made it back in there. We're going to go in there and uh, try and get them dogs on that right tree and get them treeing good and, and probably knock it out to them, show them that it's there. All right, so I seen the coon with the, with the thermal. They were in here treeing before we got here. Um, when we got in here, they kind of broke. They started circling around looking for them. That we got in here and uh, got the dogs back to the tree. And now uh, Charlie's being really good. And Jenny's kind of a little spooked with all everything that was going on. Uh, Kelsey's got her leash right now. I'm trying to get her just used to being around that tree and all that noise. Uh, but we're probably about to knock this one out to them and uh, get them excited. We just knocked that coon out to Jenny and Charlie. River just came treed 1.4 away. We're gonna drive to him, get as close as possible and see what he's got. Kels, what'd you think about that? I am so excited right now about Jenny's progress. Over the last couple weeks, she's shown a lot of progress. And tonight she was barking a lot. She got excited seeing that coon. So I'm tickled to see what she's gonna do the rest of the night. We thought River was treed. Uh, we went over there and he was just kind of boohooing around um, what treed. So he, he's actually leaving that track now. Maybe he'll find something a little hotter. Uh, we just recut Charlie and Jenny and Charlie's actually out hunting pretty good by herself, which is exactly what we wanted. Uh, she's like 150 right now and she's moving on. So we'll see what happens and hopefully she can get on another good track and tree, tree again.
Let's hope they don't tree that. I river treat that coon in a pretty nasty cypress pond. We're gonna get him up there and uh, walk up, walk a couple minutes and recut them. See if he can tree another one. We rigged another coon uh, on the way out. We were actually leaving, heading home, and uh, we, they rigged another one. Uh, we let Jenny out, see if she could smell it. She's kind of up and down the road. She can't really figure it out. I think we're gonna turn them all out and just tree one more before we go home. You know how the last turnout is though. So it'll probably be about three in the morning by the time we get back. One more. One more. <laughs> we just finished up the night i'm gonna recap uh, what happened tonight um so they rigged their first coon right here on this road and we turned out jenny and charlie and they worked through these couple ponds and ended up um, coming treed over here uh, by the time we got to them they kind of broke down uh, we spotted the coon with the thermal and walked in and uh, when we got back in there dogs got back on the tree pretty good um, we shot that coon out to them and you'll see that video previously and at that point we went over here and turned river out by himself right here down this little trail and he trailed around and he ended up treeing a coon right in here so he Trailed around, he hit a bad track right here. Um, couldn't get that one treed. He finally left it, and then he'd come out of there and work this track this way. And then you can, we'll zoom in a little bit. Let's see. And then that's the cypress pond he treed that coon in. Um, all in all, a really good night for Florida coon hunting. It's one o'clock in the morning. We do have a competition hunt tomorrow night. We're gonna take these puppies, we're gonna take Charlie uh, river and we've got a, um, another blue tick uh, that we got from upstate of New York um, named Splash which we'll start showing him off in the next couple weeks and uh, some of the videos coming up uh, but we are going to hunt him uh, tomorrow night too so we'll have three dogs in Linden Florida little PKC hunt and try it out see what they can do uh, not really expecting much but you know we're going to go donate and have a good time uh, me Zach uh, Kelsey Ashley and my brother Jonathan, we're all gonna ride down there and have a good time. And um, no matter what, we're gonna have, have fun for sure. So we are looking forward to it and hopefully we'll let y'all know how, how we do tomorrow night.